Today, a historic step forward in planetary defense after an unmanned spacecraft slammed right into an asteroid. A lot of you watched it right here as it was unfolding on Fox 26. The $313 million mission called DART answered a very important question. Can NASA stop an, can NASA rather stop an asteroid headed for Earth? Our Randy Wallace joining us live tonight from the southwest side with a closer look at today's mission. Randy. Yeah, Jonathan. Now, DART stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. The unmanned robotic spacecraft set course on November 24th of last year. Tonight, the mission came to a successful end. It's not likely that Earth is going to be hit in your lifetime or mine or the kids who are watching. But at some point, a heavy object like an asteroid could fall from the sky and hit the Earth. That threat becomes even more real with scientists scanning the sky a lot more actively and accurately. We've done enough to be pretty certain a big thing will be seen pretty far before we actually get hit by it. But what we haven't done is this DART research of, OK, it's coming, now what do we do? Dimorphos is a Colosseum-sized asteroid moonlet. The DART spacecraft is a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that's the size of a school bus. Got to know how to move it. And we have had no experience doing this, if you think about it. We've, we've landed on a lot of places, but we never tried to push anything. The collision, which took place about 7 million miles from Earth, was a success. The impact destroyed the DART spacecraft. Now telescopes will be used to figure out how the collision changed the asteroid's orbit. It was super fantastic and to see something live that's so many millions of miles away and the first event of that type in history is just a fantastic opportunity and so great to see that uh, all that effort can result in success. I thought it was really cool. I'm an electrical engineer, but I've always enjoyed aerospace engineering. and i uh, got a lot of friends in NASA, so I thought it was awesome. Another cool thing is happening out in our atmosphere. Tonight, Jupiter will be closer than usual. NASA says this will be the nearest, the largest planet in our solar system will be to Earth in nearly six decades. Jupiter will appear brighter and bigger than ever because it's only, get this, only 367 miles away from Earth. Jonathan, Rashi, y'all going to go out and take a look? I, I, we're planning to do that if we can, but you're right. I like how you said only 367 because normally it would be 600 million. Uh, we were just talking to Ramisha about that. So relatively close if you put the numbers all together. Yeah, almost like half the distance when you think about it. Yes, and experts also say that you might be able to see three or four of Jupiter's moons as well. So be on the lookout for the whole package. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Randy, yes. thank you. <laughs>